Super rookie mistake. I am extremely disappointed in myself right now. What's going on YouTube? I'm Brandon. You are back in the Gillstrap garage and I'm gonna be straightforward with it. I got the fan running in the background because without it, this video is not happening today. So I apologize if there's some wind noise here, but we are getting prepped for Sturgis. Ain't that right? Prep for Sturgis? So long awaited item on the bike is a new starter. I've been starting it at the starter because the solenoids burned up. I have not been able to use my start switch and I've just been dealing with it. But I was watching some old videos of mine and I saw and heard how easy my bike used to start and I wanted that again. So we're doing a new starter. We're probably gonna start there in this video. But at the same time, I have an upgrade kit for the primary bearing. You can do it on the 05 and older Dynas. Um, it goes from a roller bearing to a sealed bearing. And I bought a new stator because I'm in there. It's not too expensive. And just who knows when it was done before, if it's ever been done before. Uh, we're rolling up. I think we're rolled over 58,000 miles now. So good item to do. Oh, and it looks like I got a little gasket leak here. So it's not all a lost cause here. I'm gonna get you set up on the tripod. We are going to tear out the battery box because it's gonna, get a, it's gonna be a little bit easier to get to that starter. If you're doing a starter on an 06 or newer Dyna, then you don't have to get into the primary to change your starter. This bike, 05 and older, we're gonna have to. Not a problem. Like I said, tear down the battery box. I'm gonna have everything prepped on this side and then we're gonna jump over and get into the primary. So we've got, I think some 916 bolts. This tray actually slides down and this cover comes off. Newer Dynas, a lot easier. It's one bolt, one screw, I should say. You take that out and you pop the cover off and you got access to your battery. Yeah, it's done. Should be getting it today. I'm gonna put my gloves on so uh, all the guys that started turning wrenches in the 70s and 80s can leave comments about how uh, gloves are for weenies. I just like staying clean. You lose your man card. Whatever. Where's my other one? Oh, it's up here. No impact on that one. I need to get my my little jack underneath here because it's pretty wobbly. That's a little more stable. Yeah, that looks terrible. You guys see that? That'll be replaced. Maybe I'll do the positive too, I don't know. Whoa, Jesus, butterfingers today. We'll go set this over on the toolbox. Now, 
We've got one clip here to take out. Half inch nut to get off for our positive lead. And our negative lead is gonna be grounded out on the back bolt back there. Should be a quarter inch socket. And it is. This is the lead in question that I want to replace. I'll make me a new one of those. And now we have to jump over and get into the primary to loosen the jack shaft. Pretty sure we do. Yep, we do. All right, let's jump over. All right, I don't know how much of that I just recorded in time lapse, but all I'm doing right now, I'm draining the oil. I took the shift peg and the shift lever and the foot peg off. I'm getting ready to loosen the clutch cable now. That's not important if you're just replacing the starter, but because I'm gonna be pulling the entire assembly, removing the inner primary, I gotta do it. So no better time than while oil's draining. Clutch is loose. We gotta take these two torques off. I always forget which two. I believe these two, but it could be those two. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Now I'm gonna set up my drain pan underneath here because we're gonna spill a little bit. Damn it. And that's why I like to leave that side clipped on. Oh well. So now to finish pulling our starter, if that's what we're gonna work on right now, gotta bend this lock tab up right here. All right, with this bolt out, I should be able to go pull the starter. There's gonna be a little, a little coupler, a little sleeve in between the two. Pay attention to the orientation of that because I believe one side's deeper than the other. Nope, I'm wrong, it's straight through. But that's the coupler there. Gotta, gotta, gotta put that on the new starter. Just slides off and on there. Uh, I'm gonna get the rest of these pieces out. Put the starter on the toolbox. Yeah, I'll get all that off easier when the uh, clutch is off. I'll loosen that up. You don't really have to loosen it. 
uh, to get this assembly out, but I'm gonna be adjusting the clutch anyway, so. Now let me see if I can get this snap ring out without pulling this stupid weight system off of here. Which if, you can, if you're considering doing these weights, uh, my recommendation would be don't. They are pointless. I do not like them. <sighs> yeah, I gotta take those freaking weights off, man. I, I hate these. If I still have the plates, if I, if I still have that lock, I'm getting rid of that freaking plate because I they are the biggest waste of money. All right, now that that waste of money is out of the way, we can pull that out. Now we need our, well, I gotta take the tension off of the chain here, 9 16ths, I believe. That's that. Oh man, I think my big impact's at work. And certain models are different. I don't remember if the 05 is lefty-loosey or righty-loosey on this. I could pull out the manual, which would be the right thing to do. Righty Lucy. Righty Lucy on that one. Jesus. Okay. I like to try to break this loose without the impact, ideally. <sighs> Damn, this is tight. Nothing for a cheater pipe, so I'm gonna use the impact even though it's not a uh, ideal. Whew. Here's all my starter pieces. I'm gonna go set those over with the starter on the bench. All right, now I gotta bend up all the lock tabs on these bolts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those two, of course, don't have lock tabs. This can stay in. Uh, I'm probably gonna be resealing that anyway. So, had to throw my camera in the uh, freezer there because it overheated. And now my lens is fogging up constantly. Bear with me guys, this heat is brutal today. I'll keep checking on that lens to wipe it up. Um, I bent my tabs back while I was waiting. I didn't really want to tear anything off, tear, tear anything apart off camera, even though I could have had this entire primary out by now. Oh, half inch, not nine sixteenths.
And just because I'm gonna be working the, on this thing on the bench, I'm gonna pull this off too. Now this should be ready to pop off. Oh, no, I forgot one. All right, I'm gonna go set that on the toolbox. Ah, uh, it's getting a little dark, but it doesn't look terrible. My magnets look to be in pretty good shape. A little bit of debris on them, I'll clean all those up real good. Pull this O-ring off while we're thinking about it. expose my clip here. Guess I should take that little Allen bolt out. Pull that off. Now we've got some torques in there. These bolts should not be reused. Just so you know. You know what I'll do? So I can get it right later and not deal with it. I'm gonna cut these at different lengths. This plug is gonna have to be reused. I'll show you guys how to de-pin it. Do not cut your new one. Like I said, I'll show you how to de-pin it. I'll show you the right way to do it. This is just gonna save me time from keeping track of everything. Like I said, I cut them at different lengths so I know which ones are what. I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to wire in the new one correctly after the fact. So I'm gonna take this over to the toolbox. I'm getting ready to do this next job. This may be my stopping point for the day. I'm going to try to get this race off. I broke my Jim's tool and have had a hell of a time getting it warrantied. So I bought a cheap one from Amazon. I'm gonna set it up on there, see if I can get a good bite. If I can't, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna borrow a tool from work to heat this up and it should come right off. So I've cut these before. Uh, sometimes they come right off. I've heated them with a torch, but I think I have a better way to do it. It's just a little bit of an expensive tool and I have the luxury of being able to borrow one for a day or two if I need it. So I'm gonna give it a shot, but it, it could be the stopping point, like I said. I'm not very confident because like I said, I broke a Maiden USA tool. I don't have much faith in this one. Seems to be a pretty good bite on there. Seat it all the way up. Now we got, we're gonna have to hold this and turn this. These threads have a little oil on them. I should put some more, but like I said, I just, I'm gonna put a little pressure on it, see if I get her to move.
I don't know if it's moving or not. I think she's going. Oh yeah, it's going. Oh, there it is. <sighs> All right. I don't know about impressed, but I'm definitely surprised. Our next step is gonna be walking over to the toolbox, getting some of that prepped and doing a couple things over there. We'll install our new bearing and we will prep our stator and our starter. Looks to me like my jack shaft was leaking a little bit. I'm gonna have to do some cleaning on here. But first, we'll pop out our seal. These should come out pretty easy. I guess keyword being should. Oh yeah, this thing is smoked. There's a nine, nope, nine sixteenths. That's what I need there. There it is. Smoked. Need a pair. These are going to be too small. I think I gotta take the one out on the inside. And for this bearing upgrade kit, one of these snap rings is gonna go away because that bearing is so thick. So here's the breakdown that I was talking to you about. On the style, we just took out two snap rings, seal on the outside and inner race. Uh, this side is gonna be Flat side of the, okay, that's the snap ring. Pay attention to where your flat side is. Your seal towards the transmission and no snap ring on the inside here. What's gonna be the better way to pop this out? I apparently lost the instruction seat sheet. I like that little pop I just heard. There's the bearing. I will need one of these for the installer. I've had this for about two years for this bike now. Or before I install that, I'm gonna clean this up. So I'll be back here with some clean parts in just a second. All right, cleaned up. Good enough. So I made two crucial mistakes here. I was trying to pull from the inside when I should have been trying to pull from the outside. And I was not 
perfectly centered. I got in a hurry and I just made a $200 mistake. See that there? Cracked it. Super rookie mistake, super disappointed, super frustrated. Ugh. New one's already coming. That puts me behind like four days on this repair. So starting tomorrow, I'll work on the stator and prepping the starter. That's gonna be about all I can do. I am extremely disappointed in myself right now. Uh, puts us extremely close to our deadline for having this bike done, testing it and leaving. But it is what it is.